Okay, today we're going to have a look at how to get a robot to turn the direction you want it to turn when you get to an intersection. So we have this black line here, but there's an intersection up here that can go to possibly to goal A or around to goal B. Now sometimes you might want to go to A, sometimes you might want to go to B. So we need a way to get the robot to follow the line and take which turn you want. Now, I've got a single sensor there. Now we know before we can make a line follower by getting it to follow the edge. When it's on the black, you turn that way. When it's on the white, you turn that way. And what happens is it means it follows that edge. And that means it will go around that corner there. If it's following that edge, when it gets to there, it'll turn that way. If you set it up to follow this edge, when it comes along here, it will come this way. So depending which way we set it up, when it's on the black, if we make it turn that way, it will follow that edge. If it's on the black, we make it turn that way, it will follow that edge. Depending which edge we follow, which one will end up. So I've wrote a couple of programs to do that. We have left here first. If I choose the one left, and I run that, what happens is it follows the left-hand edge. Because it's following the left-hand edge, when it gets there, it will take the left-hand turn. So that one will turn left at all intersections. Always turning left, and it'll come around there and end up at B. If I come back here, and I run my other program called right, does the opposite now. It follows now the right hand side of the line. Which means at all intersections, it turns right. So I can get my robot to turn left or right, just depending which side of the line that I'm following. All right, and now we're going to have a little bit of a look at code at how we did that. So from my earlier lessons, we know um, how to write on-off controllers and how to write proportional controllers. And what I did is for when it was on the black, it proportional steers. When it's on the white, it just on-off steers, which I'll show you in my code. So in order to do that, I need to know what it's reading when it's over to white. So I have my sensor plugged into four, and it reads about 66% when it's over the white. All right, so I need to know that. Okay, for anyone that has already watched my uh, previous couple of lessons, the one on a line follower using an on-off controller and the one using a proportional controller, will understand this. This is a combination of the two together. Um, so it just runs all in an endless loop. I have a switch, and the switch is going to switch based upon whether it's over the black or over the white. And we're going to say if the reflected light intensity is less than about 60, means it must be on the black, it'll go up to the top. If it's not less than 60, it'll come down the bottom and it's on the white. Um, we have down here on the bottom and it's on the white, I'm just doing an on-off controller. Um, I'm not doing proportional steering. It just always steers by the same amount as negative 45. But on the top side, when it's on the black, I'm going to proportional steer to the right. Um, so what I do is I get the value and I need to minus my set point off it, which is about 65. And I need to multiply it by my KP factor. And I'm using about 1.3 and then put it into my steering block. And then it goes round and round and round, and I've set my exit for my loop whenever reflected light intensity is more than 70, i.e. it's over the silver. So I'm not using any colors, I'm just using reflected light intensity, so I can detect black, I can detect white, and I can detect silver. Those three colors, and that's all there is. So now to make the other program left that follows the left-hand side of the line and turns left, all we need to do it switch the direction it turns. So down the bottom, instead of turning left when it's on the white, it's now going to turn right when it's on the light white. In order to get the proportional steerer to steer the other way from the black, we just add this one more mass block and multiply it by negative one, which will make it a negative amount and make it steer in the other direction. And that's all there is.